Matt, uh, Matt, Matt, <laughs> sir, my lord, <laughs> majestic Matt, tell us what you really, really want. What you really, 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 what, really, what really, 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 really want. want. I'll tell you what I want. What I really, really want is Ethan Ralph to release his report history. That's there we, we go, are. Ralph. Answer the fucking call. Answer the I call. Did I did it. It's I did it on your true. screen. If it's you are not guilty. Gainer, <laughs> Gainer, Monday Matt's picking on me now, Gainer. I can't Gainer. take it. Gainer, I'm being bullied by Majestic Matt. Majestic Lord Matt. Dabbing on me now, Gator. Dabbing <laughs> on me. He keeps dabbing <laughs> on me, Gator. Gator, no. Dabbing on me. Daddy, no. Daddy, no. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Ethan. He's afraid to actually start stream sniping us. He's had his show going for 10 minutes with a blank screen. You know? What a joker. He's afraid of what we're going to say if he actually he does. does. The reality sniping. is PPP. That Ethan Ralph does not want his pay pigs and the people that are oblivious to his nature to realize what he is. He doesn't want the truth about himself to be put out there. He doesn't want his the fact podcast. that he's had a fake wife, Nora. He doesn't want the fact that he's got this underage girlfriend to be out there public knowledge. He doesn't want the fact that he ate a burger from the fucking trash to be public knowledge. He doesn't want the fact to be... He, he's doing pill streams with his own mother's medication. He doesn't want the fact that he's eating crisp sandwiches off paper plates to be public knowledge. Because Ethan Ralph in his own mind is a king. No, and here's the thing. His whole chat right now is PPP1. So PPP he did win. Look, look, this is what winning Boom. looks like. You know, his whole chat, and they're banning them. As soon as they say it, they're getting instantly banned. Gator, Gator, ban the, ban the PPP mafia, Gator. They're coming for me. Can, can you just like visualize in your head what one of his moderators like looks like, like in person? Like, what he looks like sitting in his room right now? Yeah, well, we know what they Shannon. look like, Chuck. I've seen they look Shannon like in Gator. person. They look like yeah. Gator with a luchador mask on, 400 pounds. <laughs> my, my, my favorite thing about Gator was Pinecone Girl coming out and, and saying that she denied him. That was my favorite thing. Now, mundane like, Matt, right? Because it's been stung. widely said, Matt, he's that you're stung. a cop that you're oh, raising that, yeah. other people's children what do you think about gator being denied just the slightest form of andy worski's seconds there andy worski's sloppy seconds even gator was denied that now what do you think as a cuck yourself what do you think of gator's <laughs> relationships well, I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a cuck that's the difference there is i'm not a cuck but i uh i would say that in this regard shannon would be better off most likely going on fat tinder and trying to find something on there. Maybe even grinder has got some effeminate looking dudes. Uh, maybe that one of them will love him because clearly Gator's no one else does. To be topped by a strong masculine Canadian it... bull named P P P. That's what Gator's <laughs> looking for. I've seen him. He's he cruises on grinder. He's trying to pick me up. Gator. I won't top you, buddy. There's nothing we can do. We, I just won't do it. Gator. I don't know. Fuck. Fuck. That's what he's looking for, guys. Sad. It's sad. Oh, uh, Josh, give us your hot take on um, why Ethan Ralph is 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 doing this attack against Kiwi Farms. Give us your Dave hot take. Josh. Oh, okay. We talked about this right before we went live, but this. Okay, I'm calling it now. Everyone, all 1,000 people watching this, which is uh, fucking amazing. We're we're three times the number of Ralph's pre-stream right now. Uh, I'm locking it in. Ralph is trying to segue from a right-leaning audience to a centrist audience that he can monetize more effectively. Um, and I, I just, I don't think it's going to work. I think he wants to eradicate negative information about him on the internet. And then he wants to become someone who is a, a, a neutral platform, maybe kind of edgy, you know, just like Dick Masterson. A, a, someone who's really down the middle, maybe libertarian leaning, who listens to both sides, plays it kind of edgy, but doesn't have a far right tank to him because that shit cannot be monetized. And all he, all he wants is to make more fucking money. And he's hoping to string along the couple fucking idiots who still pay him for the ride. No, it's well, sad. It's I yeah, actually want to touch upon that for a second because there's sure. a uh, if you if you've if you're up to date on your Ethan Oliver Ralph lore and you and you go back away. Matt, just drop the bull fucking docs. Drop the date of birth. I'm not, 
I don't know. I don't, I don't know. You can find that on his uh, on his arrest <laughs> record. Uh, you know, when he attempted <laughs> to punch a cop and got busted for it. This is my favorite thing about Ethan. Everything he attempts, he fails at ultimately. And so he couldn't even punch a cop. He still got six months in jail and a couple years probation for taking the swing. Right? I mean, couldn't I'm keep his marriage out. working. Probably on fires woman, blanks. On a woman, he couldn't even knock out a woman. He missed his punch, and the woman arrested him single-handedly. <laughs> <laughs> but he still was able to somehow abuse Andy Worski, which really goes to tell you something about Andy. But that's a whole other story. So here's the thing with Ethan. You have to go back deep into the lore. And you have to really look at the psychological profile. I'm there. Of, of I'm Ethan there right Oliver now. Okay. I'm in the lore. You're I'm in the lore. Like God, Ethan you are here. Let, let us expose this to the light. Because my favorite thing about Ethan ultimately boils down to a two-word sentence, and that is daddy issues. He's got them. This is fair. This is true. This is known. Go back to his ED page, and you should be able to find leaked Slack logs from back during Gamergate when he was running ops for Milo Yiannopoulos. In fact, he was Milo's attack dog. And as a result of that... Matt, I hate to interrupt you, sir, Matt, but he used to call him Master Milo. Yes, he did. Master Milo. He did. Master Milo. He very true. He did. And so at the time in the slack log, he even says, I would take a bullet for Milo. I love that guy. <laughs> then later on, after Milo, after Milo had his blow up and he walked away from Ralph, then he moved over to Jim. After this is, of course, as the kill stream was rising in Internet blood sports and all that stuff. And he even said in a stream once that he looked at Jim like a father. And that's why he always wants Jim around. Jim, Daddy Jim, come and talk to me, Daddy Jim. And of Please, course, now. Daddy Jim. Daddy Jim, I can't get an audience on my own now. Everything I need your help. I need I you to you, come Daddy in. <laughs> Save me from myself and my maker's mark and my alcoholism and my tiny penis. Please, and so please. then, but the, hold on, it gets better. It gets better. So when Jim disavowed Ralph, which he has, I think, done now pretty well. So then he moved over to, uh, to Dick Masterson. Once again, that whole thing came together because Dick Masterson hates me. And that's, how the two, and, and that's how the two of them got together. So as always, I am somehow involved in Ethan Ralph's life. Whether he Monday wants to admit Matt it or not, the key to all this. I really Monday am. I, Matt is at yeah, the center I am of the his web. lord and savior. I provide him sustenance, and then hopefully one day be able to take it away. So, so there's that. <laughs> uh, you know, and lord so, but, Jabo but give it and Lord Jabo yes, take, take it, it away. away. Uh, so you've got that, and then he migrates over to Dick, and Dick, as as Josh was saying, is a you know he's a popular guy. He's a successful guy. He has a house that's in L.A. on the side of a hill. It's not in the Hollywood Hills. He it's has not a, a house that is on a foundation attached to the the earth, as yeah. opposed to being suspended. That's, above why are we even mobiles? like misusing true. the true. term house? Like it's, it's not more, a house; it's a crack shack. It's a it's a shack. But crack have you shack. seen Have you seen Ethan's house? It literally looks like it's, it's one bad day again. away from Why like are we being a mess. trailers man? and caravans and crack shacks, houses. Wait, wait. I mean, breaking, breaking update. I have been informed by my chat that the word BTFO has been filtered in Ralph's <laughs> <laughs> chat on D Live. <laughs> Gavin, <laughs> it's a Joshua uh, Moon live alert <laughs> on the state of Ethan Ralph's live chat. It's just filled with PPP1 and pictures of my face. They're either banning everybody who says a word about me. <laughs> oh, no. We have over a thousand more viewers than him. I thought Monday Matt wasn't a draw. Oh, no. <laughs> I, well, I just I am... want to ask Matt, masterful, majestic Lord Matt, about where he thinks Ethan Ralph is going to spend his final days. How I just want Monday Matt to get in the zone where we are in the last week of Ethan Ralph's life. I just want you to talk about what you envision, how it's going to play out, whether or not you'll be involved with a gun turning up at the door. I just want the full scene <laughs> from Monday Matt. I, I'll tell you this. I have absolutely zero desire to hurt Ralph in any particular way. I just like making him really mad because it does all the work for me. He can't handle criticism. He can't handle anything that's negative. So he just completely finds a way to cope with it, and that's generally so Matt, kills Matt, and boost. are you telling so, us right now that when Ethan Ralph is in the alcoholic coma that he's eventually going to end up in and Gator's by his bedside, you're not going to pay a visit to the hospital and give him a kick in the nuts? Guys, I wish you could see right now Ralph's face. He's so <laughs> clearly drunk and he's just like nearly on the verge of tears. There are literally They're tears so in his They're so mad! They're so John mad! I can't even They're see so I'm that pissed drunk! <laughs> Is he, is he going to start talking about Nora in front of his girlfriend again? Is he going to start recounting all the how much love he has for his ex-wife in front of his new girlfriend and just expect her to sit there and take it? That to me was hysterical and so no, I had mean. a lot of stick for this. We've been calling part, yeah. him. We've been calling female Randy Stare Ralph's girlfriend. 
But can she actually consent if she's underage? If she's still out of in high school. She's just fresh out of high school. Well, she's Is this just a predator yeah. slave relationship? <laughs> Ralph gave up on his show. Yeah, he canceled it. He canceled the show. Dream. He canceled? Yeah, oh he canceled my god. He he gave it's <laughs> over. It's done. It's done. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all sizes, Majestic Matt won. I can't believe Majestic Matt won. We serve you, sir. Majestic Matt we redeemed. We serve you, Matt. Bow redeemed. Down. We bow down. <laughs> I have it returned. I have it come for scalps and taken them, unlike Tonka, I who couldn't get up from a wheelchair. I think I hear a vacuum cleaner in the background. It feels like something's been aborted. I don't know what it is that's been being aborted. Are, are you hearing there, that or the it... heating of a or, or the heating of a wire hanger? Well, I tell you what, I can hear. Record, I can hear the rattle of a small bottle of medication. <laughs> you just you just hear one the, the sad little rattle of his meds, you know, because he has to pop them. Go drink yourself to sleep, Ethan, because we made fun of just time. in the Discord right now. Say. So, so, Stay strong, my mensch. My mensch, Ethan Ralph. I don't think I can make it tonight, Gator. I don't <laughs> think I can do it. Gator, they're making fun of me. I'm being cyberbullied on the website, Karen Farms. Gator, no! Gator! Female what? Radistair! Female Radistair, make me a chicken sandwich straight out of the can. And don't forget to put it on a paper plate now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have we got anything else to talk about? Now? Hold right. on. Before, hold on. <laughs> before Ralph tried his stream snipe, we were interviewing Jarbo about the Snyder Cut, and I want to hear about the Snyder Cut. Matt, tell us about the. Well, campaign. let me just set the scene Why where we were. It, so previously on fucking Monday, Matt, the Next Generation, Monday, Matt was beaten, bloodied, and bruised. He'd been exposed as a flagger and a cuck and all of this shit. And then he was sat there alone in darkness, looking at the Joss Whedon cut of the Justice League. And he thought, I will not allow this to be the sole release of this movie. So Monday, Matt set upon a crusade, a crusade, a one-man crusade to deliver the Snyder cut to your screens on HBO Max in 2021. Now, Monday, Matt, this time on Dragon Ball Z. What? I, I don't <laughs> Monday it. Max. Wait, okay. Monday before Max. we get into the Snyder cut again, I feel like, like I'm, just, kept, I'm trying to follow this. Like, what the fuck is going on? He kept 450 of his most diehard fans, the people who see that fucking D Live notifications for a stream going live. He kept those people, the people who will see that shit and click it immediately, waiting for 20 fucking minutes as he waited for an opportunity to start stream sniping us. And then just gave up and left all those people. They were in that fucking chat, spamming stickers, farming lemons for this motherfucker. And he just fucking, he empties out that fucking D live chest and he's just like, fuck it. I'm just drinking tonight. <laughs> the reality I'm is this just, one off. Like, he's not even, he's not even awake at this point. He's passed out in the puddle of his own vomit. <laughs> he can't see anymore. He can't function. There were literally it's tears so in his eyes, guys. There were, there were actually tears in his eyes because he knew. He's like, if I turn this on for the pay piggies and the people who watch me, I'm going to be executed live on fucking air. These four guys are just going to blow me out so fucking badly that I'll never recover. So he just decided to take the fucking L and give up and accept that this show is drawing more than his fucking livelihood will at nine o'clock. We have 1,400 live viewers. That's more than it's been on the kill stream in fucking two weeks. 1,400 kings! 1,400 neat Kings. samurai here today to bathe in the glow of Monday Matt's light. Now, Monday Matt, you were there in the cinema. You wanted to see the release of the Snyder Cut. How did you make that magic happen? <laughs> A lot of hard work, dedication, and cocaine. Hollywood loves cocaine, Godwinson. Hollywood adores cocaine. So you get a good pipeline from Columbia right to Warner Brothers, and eventually it all kind of works itself out. And the hookers. And so, the hookers, too. I mean, uh, Ralph wants to pivot to the, the centrist kind yeah. of point. So when you had your shit, you opened up other channels and you focused on, like, the current Hollywood shit <clears throat> going on, and that's what you found success in, right? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually have grown quite a bit on that channel, and uh, I've like you know I've, I've been able to work my ass on that pretty well, and I really love doing it. The thing is, I'll tell you, this, I'll be honest. Like, I really didn't like the social commentary game towards the end. I was like, I was bored with it. I was done with it. It's all the same nonsense over and over and over again, trying to get people mad so I get money, and that there's no fun in well, that. Well, Matt, really. Matt, is is Saint Anita Sarkeesian redeemed? Have you got enough forgiveness in your heart to forgive Queen Anita? <laughs> I uh, I don't forgive Anita for a lot, um, but I now understand a lot more than I did. And as a result of that, uh, I'm not going to talk about her anymore because I think after all these years, uh, there's been enough damage. Man. What a majestic man, a gracious man, almost as generous as generous Josh of Caring Farms. Thank we you, love we love you, majestic man. We love you. Thank you. you know, we love I, I like you, too. I well, like you too. I've seen a lot of your you, stuff. Sir. You're a very talented, funny individual who made me a thank janitor you, my Lord. to clean up your mess, like the high <laughs> lord that I am, to grant you everything you require. And all I ask is just undying loyalty and that goddamn fucking wrench. And thank you. Thank you well, for Monday, doing Matt, he's been pulling loyalty. all the strings behind the scenes. Monday, I'm Matt, the third man. Oh, is that all the fourth of the five D chess. Hushing all of the players and the pawns. He's orchestrated this entire thing. He's orchestrated it as far back as New Project 2. He's orchestrated it as far back from Knoxville. He's been pulling the strings this whole time. And it's been building up for this moment where he's at the top of the hill and he's rolling down the rock and crushing Ethan Ralph, all five foot one of him, into the ground. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, Ralph has just tweeted out, Winky face, see you guys tonight. Is he talking about the last of the day, Barb, or what is he talking about? I that is so weird. I don't understand. Like, we, I'll see you guys tonight. That it, is. It, it seemed like he had his stream up and running just a couple of minutes ago. This is really baffling to me. I can't yeah, figure this I'm, one out. I'm, I'm now, looking Josh, at some photos Josh, from I've it got right a now. And... For you, Josh. Sure. There was a rap that was released as a product of Ethan Ralph's roundtable meeting in his mother's trailer, where he decided to decide to kill you. Right. So what was produced from that meeting was a rap between Digibro and Riley. Do you have that at hand? And can we play that for the audience? Because it's not oh, widely can, available. I, I can, want us I all to walk along and give commentary to the right. rap. I, we'll, I will we'll, play we'll this for everyone. For a bit of time. I'll stall for a little bit of time by reading some of uh, Ralph's Twitter here. Um, here he goes. He's, he says, Josh Moon is seething so hard. He taken to teaming up with Mundane Matt on streams. It keeps getting better and better. How long until they bring in Tonka? Well, that's tomorrow. Tomorrow, we'll mate. To, tomorrow. Yeah. Monday night we'll is a king. Have con, we'll have to console ourselves tonight on the kill stream with the hottest comedian on Twitter right now. Gentlemen, do you know who the hottest hottest comedian on Twitter is? Is it, Jerry is it Seinfeld. Dick? Is Dick coming on to help Ralph out again? It's, is it or Jerry it's, Seinfeld? It's, why, it's Ryan Long. Ryan who? Long. Who? Who? <laughs> I've never heard of him. You couldn't even get Dick yeah. to help. Could, yeah, Kraut, he was, Kraut has we just joined us. The boys are back in town. Kraut, have you heard of Ryan Long? No. Who's Ryan Long? He's the hottest Wait. comedian on the internet right now in the entire world. Oh, really? Let me look him up. Let me look him up. I'm sure. I'm oh, sure. real quick. PPP. Apparently, Ralph had said here that you are viewbotting. Oh. That, uh, he says, he says He's PPP is viewbotting. Just slap me. <laughs> He's botting the streams cold. just like me, Gator. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, but listen, listen, this it goes on. He says, I came on, played a few songs, made fifteen to twenty dollars. I'll be back tonight with the actual show, LOL. <laughs> like, yeah, that's in this chat. Sure you will. Okay, but okay, before before that message, it says, uh, Kraut One has been muted by moderators, Ralph Retard has been muted by moderators, Wallaloo has been muted by moderators, R Ron Paul Pat's Pond has been muted by moderators, and Burb has been muted. So there he cleaned out. All the people talking about PPP and then says PPP is viewbotting Lamau. I don't care. I came on and played songs. Made $15. What a disaster. We made $15, though. Come on. He, the, the, the generous core audience Taco Bell. gave him yeah. $15 in lemons. So it was worth it. It was worth this humiliating display of starting up a stream, playing the Killstream outro sunset song for a couple of minutes and then and then canning it it was all worth it because he got paid uh, enough money to buy like two bottles tops of yeah. maker's mark no you can't buy two bottles for 15 dollars no you can't even buy one bottle you can't you even can buy you, this no, memory PPP. ppp you can buy a bus ticket and shoplift four bottles of maker's mark <laughs> you know what you know what he could do is he could go mow his neighbor's lawns and make some money 
I saw his yard. It's not that big. I live on an oh. acre, 1.3 acres of forest land. My shit's fucking wrecked from the forest. His land is like flat, easy to mow, 20 minutes, you're fucking done. I was surprised. As a proper homeowner and not one living in my mom's house, I find it to be really funny that he can't do the basic maintenance himself. And that to me is kind of funny. That's like not... That's not but manly. Like, you know, he doesn't even, raise. He can't even clean his own dishes, man. He has to buy paper plates because he doesn't own a set of ceramic plates, Matt. It's so easy to wash and dry. No, it no, no it's, 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 maybe it's a health hazard. Maybe it's actually a health hazard because if you throw glass bottles into, like, if you, you, you know that I worked for a garden company. And if you f go over a glass bottle with a lawnmower or with a weed whacker, it, ma it hacks up the bottle and shoots the glass splinters everywhere. So it's actually a health hazard if you just throw your bottles into the oh, lawn. Okay. So, his so he probably has a lawn yeah, full of glass bottles that he can't. He tried this. <laughs> so Josh, have yeah. you procured the rap? I, I do. Okay, I sent you guys a link in the Hangouts chat, and I can't play this um, to you and to the stream at the same time. So you're just going to have to open it and synchronize with me. All right, somebody open it. Who's going to be the king who opens it? Oh, I've got it on my, uh, I've got it on OBS. I'm gonna throw it up there, and I'm gonna tell you guys when, when to start it. So just get it open. It's in the chat. And let me know when you guys are. All right, ready. I have mine up. Yeah. So yeah, this you. was a rap that was compiled and orchestrated at a sit-down mafioso meeting with Ethan Ralph and a league of degenerate pedophiles and transsexuals and Digibro and the producer, owner, operator of fucking Dick Masterson's show. Yeah. So this was the master production. To clarify crossed, this, let me give you some background. Um, there is a picture of Digibro, his girlfriend, Riley, who's the guy with the Confederate flag hat in this video, his girlfriend, and uh, Ethan and Ralph sitting together in their house, in his house or trailer or whatever. And they are all together. And then soon after, Riley, who is the only employee of the dick show besides Sean, the audio engineer, he sends me a message on Discord and he says, you're like the guy at the party who has to be told when to leave the party. And I'm telling you to leave the party. And so I just left Dick's Discord after that because I was like, okay, I'm not going to stick around where I'm not welcome. And then after that, Riley, who is on the left again, uh, and Digibro, who is now a tranny, show up and they produce this fucking uh, just amazing song. So I'm going to play it uh, on three and we'll play until, I guess, one of you... Uh, cries uncle and says to shut it off. So, uh, three, two, one, go. If your life is all about money, status, and young pussy, you're an empty, pathetic person. Care informs, KK care informs, confirm all these red alarms, bearing the now reputation is home. I didn't even have the link. Oh, wait, come on. You can't talk it's in the shit chat, about bro. me. I'm a disaster. Libertine yeah, sociopath, bad that. faith actor. Yeah, I smoke <laughs> meth, we wax crack, and I smack her. So I got my self esteem being my own detractor. Exactly, it's not up to date because I just joined. Send it again for you. So how do you rate the rap so far, Matt? <laughs> oh, the, the, the gif of me dancing. <laughs> how does it feel, Matt, to be their eternal enemy? To be the low-hanging fruit they keep wheeling out for super chats and shekels? Riley, when he was confronted about this, said that he was intentionally trying to make the cringiest video possible. Do you guys believe that? I was just pretending to be retarded, you know? You know, it's gotta be one of the worst fucking pieces of shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. It's just embarrassing for all people involved. It's a fucking abominable abortion of a fucking rap song. It's like fucking shit. I, I feel dumber for having heard this. I, I had to turn the volume off. I just can't do it. And I can, I can live through some serious shit. I've seen you want a man. You know what I mean? But like, okay, no. Matt's out. When, when PPP or God wins But do you not think that that's the anthem that we'll be playing at Josh's funeral? Yeah, I still have the you video up. that's going to bring down Josh single-handedly. Do I think this song is going to bring down Josh single-handedly? 
but mommy, I know Do you, you have yeah. I, th I think if the if the federal government hasn't done that already, I think he's okay. Oh. Well, that's, that's right. Generous Josh is a king and a warlord who's able to destroy the federal government at a moment's notice with his army, his army, his army of fucking Kiwis. Jesus. He's like John McAfee, but even more big. A multi fucking billionaire. Well, we're like... coming up to the top of the Force of Five. What have you got to say, Josh? Oh god, all these people had to do was shut the fuck up and it would be okay. Ralph would be collecting his fucking lemons in peace and solitude, interviewing the most fucking mundane people possible, and nobody would be giving him any shit. But he has he has some sort of weird fucking chip on his shoulder, so all, the, all these people do. All these people do. Were they, to the point where, you know, they're gonna fucking give me grief for talking to Matt. This motherfucker is sitting here smoking a doobie with a fucking tranny pedophile. And I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to take a no, I will laugh at you. I'm sorry. Crowd hot take. Crowd hot take. Yeah, I was gonna say we'll do the live. I... I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. I joined this hangout not knowing that we were live. I don't know. I just, <laughs> just, joined. just give us the hot take on Monday, Matt, on fucking Ethan Ralph. Sorry. Sorry. Just give us the hot take on oh, Ethan Ralph. Monday, Matt, I can give you that. He will score. He will score. Monday, Matt is a mess. going to have his revenge. Yes. Oh, what do you think of Ethan Ralph's antics tonight? <laughs> Oh, Ralph, Ralph will never have a family with a house surrounded by a wall of boulders, two kids, and a wife that loves him. He will never have that. Adding to that, a wife in his age group. That is something out of the reach for him. So, Matt, lay the smackdown, the last smackdown on Ralph tonight. I fully predict that in by the year 2021, Ethan Ralph will probably convert to Islam in order to then move to a jihadi country and marry a 13-year-old because then he'll finally feel emotionally competent to be in a relationship. But, bro, it's it's legal. It's legal, then. That's all that matters. She says he'd smash any pussy as long as it was... As legal. long as it's legal? Well, yeah, then why doesn't he move to some place with, like, a really low age of consent, you know? Like, he clearly, he likes to troll for high schoolers, you know? He openly brags about, like, I met Nora when she was 18. Like, okay, you were still 30. That's a little bit creepy. All right. Oh, now you're 34 and you're doing it again. It's, it's, I mean, like there's, there's clearly an emotional issue there. There's clearly something he needs psychological help on. Never mind the alcoholism and the, and the pill popping and the nihilism. Uh, you know, aside but from that, there's other shit. Aside, like, yeah, aside from all those issues. But I'll tell you this I'll tell you this. If Ethan wants to uh, reform his image, if Ethan wants to come out and move away from this hardcore, right-leaning pro-fascist neo-nazi audience that he's coalesced over the last couple of years it's not going to happen he has to legally change his name in order for that to happen like he's got to start working under a pen name writing gay fan fiction about steven universe in order to finally get people to not look him up and go oh you're that guy you're yeah. the guy who got booted off of youtube for fucking holocaust denial on a charity stream you're the guy that actually had full run of stream me and took it the fuck down you're the guy that's been pushed off of every fucking network to D Live, which has been recently purchased by BitTorrent, which is why he started to fucking calm down, is because they're not going to put up with this shit. The, D, the, the Lino is basically worthless at this point, and that's already been talked about by the people at BitTorrent and D Live themselves. So we can see that there's Ralph's world from two years ago, where he was at the height of his game, pulling in the you know six, 7,000 people a night, ragging on me constantly, paying a dude $100 for in a, a privately recorded conversation out of my Discord so he could run it as exclusive content. You know, Never mind the fact that he, he's threatening to flag, and I'm sure he did flag PPP and uh, everyone else for, uh, for hosting that audio yesterday because this is the kind of person that he is, a sycophantic, narcissistic piece of shit with a tiny dick and a fucking overflap gunt. This is who Ethan Oliver Ralph is. That's who he'll always be. He's got daddy issues out the ass, which is why he's trying to suck up to Dick Masterson so much. Look at everything Ralph is doing, and then look at what Dick has already done three months ago. If we were going to apply this to cultural norms in countries, Dick is the United States, and Ralph is basically Eastern Europe, which picks up on it 20 years later. Like, that is what he's doing. He's trying to copy Dick so that he can one day be like Dick. But the fact of the matter is, Dick is an idiot. I've met him. I fucking met him. And you know what Dick said to me? And this is true. 
He came up to me and he actually complained. And he says, you know what sucks when people say untrue things about you on the internet? He said it with zero self-awareness. And I looked at him right in those little beady fucking eyes and that gigantic drive-in size fucking forehead. And I cocked my head to the side and went, yeah, I know. Because this is the kind of person that Ralph has to fucking suck up to. The kind of person that comes across as being way more successful, way more interesting. Because for Dick, it's all even a show. It's all a show even for Dick. Like, you know, I found out like Dick actually showed off his penis at the Upright Citizens Brigade in L.A. and was like laughed off stage. And they've talked about it on Twitter. Like, so Dick has whipped his little pee-pee out. Right now, you know why he's got such a fucking large ego? Because it's making up for something that clearly isn't there biologically. So what? A disaster. PPP. This is the world. Take us Look, out, PPP. There is no well, well, real. Before PPP, I'm sorry, but before PPP gets in, let me just say that if Ralph does try to pivot away from his audience, um, if he'll eat thinks, him alive. They'll eat him alive. Yeah, if he thinks we're bad, making fun of this is this is a fucking circus. This is a kid's birthday party, making fun of his chicken salad sandwich. Wait until you've got those 250 people who have given him thousands of dollars over the years. Uh, suddenly realizing that he's willing to take the pause load the second it becomes profitable to him. And you'll see some really fucked up shit that would make, you know, someone like Corey Zoom look like, you know, like a like just a, a harmless prankster. Just saying. So winter is coming, Ralph. It's just the tip of the iceberg. It's all up. The house of cards is falling down. PPP, take us out. Okay, it's going to be tough to, to top Majestic Matt's monologue of glory and greatness and redemption and destruction of just fucking dissecting systematically what Ethan Ralph is and destroying it. Just fucking tossing a big time boulder. This is like the League of Super Evil for Ralph, like the Batman villains sitting around the poker table, stories of how we almost got him. And Jarbo's story was that he threw a boulder, but this time he actually hit him with the boulder crushed his fucking head like a watermelon and destroyed him. Look, I just want to make one thing clear. Not only do we have 1,500 live viewers, which is more than Ralph's going to have on his show tonight, we have more than doubled him in lemons. His $15, his 814 lemons, we did 1,550. So as much as he wants to talk about his lemons, how he won because he made money, I made more lemons than him. I had more viewers than him. Uh, we had a better show than he's going to have tonight in a third the fucking time. And everybody on the panel did a fucking phenomenal job. I appreciate everybody. Fucking excellent show. Fuck Ethan Ralph. Fuck him for flagging my channel. He's the fucking whore of Babylon, the fucking Antichrist, a piece of fucking shit. And the four horsemen have put him in a shallow fucking grave and are burying him dead. And hopefully, out of shame, he never does a fucking show again. But unfortunately, folks, we can't be that lucky we'll probably see him passed out in a puddle of puke by 10 p.m tonight that's all i've got to say fucking peace bitches